Oh. Rowan Dennis, a pa oh, yeah, well, so I pull their shoulder out when I do a flex. Apparently, Rowan Dennis has deleted his social media. Still got facey, apparently, as I'm reading some cycling news. Rowan Dennis deleted, apparently, from what cycling news claim, uh, he deleted pictures of his pinarellos off his um, Instagram. Ro I don't know if this is true. But it's alleged that Rowan Dennis has deleted his Instagram and Twitter after jumping in a black Porsche. What well, looks like a black Porsche. Looks pretty cool. And going to have to be of a rev in the Spanish countryside, allegedly, and saying, COVID can suck my goiter and quarantine sucks. Yeah, I'm on the, I'm on the same page here with Rowan in terms of like, you know, why? I don't know. And that's a separate video. But, but my message to Rowan would be, bro, what are you doing? I thought he was an Adelaide. Rowan's an Adelaide boy as well. That's why he's performed so well on the bike. Adelaide produces more elite level cyclists from Paralympic, Masters, Junior, Track, BMX, Downhill, Cross Country, Road, TT, than any city on the planet. Adelaide is an absolute paradise for riding. So when I first read that, that Rowan Dennis was in Spain, I'm like, my first thing was like, why, why would you be in Europe if you've got an Aussie passport? And you live in Ad you have residence in Adelaide, or you know, family in Adelaide at least, or just get an Airbnb in Adelaide if you don't live the old. So I'm just, I'm baffled. 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 Why anyone would be in Europe when they could be in Adelaide or even Thailand training the house down Thailand. I'm just... Especially if you're a pro athlete. I'm not even a pro athlete. I'm a, I'm a weekend warrior. But I love... I'm, I'm, I'll choose to be in Adelaide or I'd be in Thailand. Like, I wouldn't live in Sydney. Sydney's a hellhole. That's what I call it. Stress kidney Sydney. Melbourne. Hellburn. Adelaide's the... I did a 235k loop the other day. People are training the house down in Adelaide. These dudes are ripping up Norton Summit and that... It's wicked, man. The weather's really good for riding at the moment. I mean, it's, you know, I'm wearing a singlet here. Uh, it's, it's awesome. So, Rowan, man, get, get on a plane, bro. Bring the fam down to Adelaide or have a break from family life or whatever. Just, bro, get the next flight over. I'm assuming there's flights here. Or maybe even do a world tour and ride your bike across. Ride your bike across Siberia down through Thailand and then do a kayak across the... Across the ocean or whatever, that'd be epic, that'd be a YouTube vlog, but yeah, um, so I feel Rowan's frustration with the whole, you know, quarantine stuff, and you know, I also don't, uh, it's a controversial topic, and YouTube doesn't really like being talking about it, but uh, it was good that Rowan, some of the comments I saw on Cycling News, Rowan said, you know, would you rather me be a fake drone, or would you rather me share my real struggles in life, so I'm on the page with Rowan there, I agree with that. I would though, oh man, like I've made a lot of mistakes on social media, um, I've even had a lot of trolls on social media, maybe they all write something and then they'll photoshop it with my name and go, yeah, do you know I also said this? And it's like, well, no, I didn't, and you didn't do the whole story. So I've been able to take it into context as well, so I'm not sure if Rowan's been taking into context in this situation. It doesn't look like it, but we don't know the full story behind it. So we can just go with what's the uh, cycling news. It's just generally cycling news, I don't think they really print much um, incorrect. Well, yes, they do, but you know. <laughs> so, yeah, Rowan, mate, the end, of this, end of the day, bro, your job is to ride a bike really fast and come to Adelaide, man. De, de stress. What well, I'm a big believer in life. If you, you, know, you control the conditions or let the conditions control you, you know, be on the front driving the watts, or be on the back just getting dropped off, you know. Be on the front given the pain, given the hurt, or be on the back taking that hurt, you know. It's like the echelon, really. You know, it's like you can be in the gutter, or you can be, like, just hanging on the back here. That's, that's a better analogy, isn't it? In the echelon, where you're just you're trying to, and, the, and they're driving in the gutter. The wind's coming from the right-hand side of the road, so you're as far left over as possible. Maybe you're couple of inches out for your teammate, with every two inches for your teammate, and you're counting that, and then you've got the guys right at the back who are just doing you know, 500 watts as well, just trying to make contact. There's nothing worse than doing 500 watts trying to make contact 
versus 500 watts in the front. Saying, see you later, see you, see you later. So I'm a big believer in control the conditions. Rowan isn't controlling the conditions right now. He's in the conditions control him and he can flip it. He can flip it by just getting that MasterCard out, going on to Qantas or wherever's doing flights to Australia. I'm assuming there's still flights going. I hope there is. If there's not, then geez. It's worse than I expected. But man, Rowan, control the conditions, bro. Don't let the conditions control you. Um, and, uh, and deleting your social media. I understand why you did that. But I think you regret that. And that's fine. You can always start up more social media. It's no big deal. You've got an audience now. People will follow wherever, wherever you go. So that's fine. So don't... If you do regret deleting your social media, don't let that stress you. Just, just maybe write down. Deleting social media, not such a good idea. Listen to... I'm, I'm, your, I'm the basically the Mr. Miyagi of social media out there. Mr. Miyagi. I've made so many mistakes. I've, so, I've had the next level trolls out there. And I still continue to do that to, to this day. And what those trolls teach me is that a Miyagi. Have you seen that movie Karate Kid? If you haven't seen Karate Kid, 1984, go watch Karate Kid before this video ends. Go watch that. That's an epic, epic video. So I'm basically a Mr. Miyagi. I used to be Daniel's son, but now I see myself as more of a Miyagi daddy figure to a lot of the younger people out there on the on YouTube, etc., with uh, social media advice and nutrition, etc. Also, Rowan, I would say, I'm not sure if you're drinking caffeine, but I don't think someone like you should use caffeine as an everyday um, everyday product. I don't myself, because it makes me like a, pfft, I'm already crazy as enough as it is. And I know Rowan, um, you know, based on what I see on social media, etc., I would say he, caffeine would be a negative drug for him to use. Caffeine is a drug. It's a neurotoxin, actually. It creates a lot of anxiety and just... And to be a world champion TT rider, you need to have a different level of, you know, brain chemistry going on. So if you've got that, you know, brain chemistry where you can really lock it down for an hour etc and you're using caffeine as well as an everyday thing i don't think that's going to be health no no i don't think i know it's not going to be healthy for you for your brain chemistry for your mood it ain't it ain't it ain't at all it creates anxiety it creates overthinking it creates paranoia it creates anger i don't let my girlfriends drink coffee uh, they occasionally use caffeine for a time trial but low dose like 20 milligram and even then it's like Music's better. Music's much better. All right? Music doesn't have the come downs the next day. So my tip for Rowan would be, bro, get on the fucking plane to Adelaide. Get on the plane to Adelaide. And uh, ditch the caffeine. I only use it for races. Otherwise, it's just like, don't use caffeine. Social media and caffeine don't mix, man. That's just like, it's depression nation, man. It's depression nation. So mental health, man. A lot of people are having mental health issues right now because of, you know, they're, they're used to being like wild animals on the bike or running or swimming or just being out there. And I feel for a lot of people who live in these European countries, I don't think Europe's a good place to live personally. Australia, Adelaide, Australia, I should say. Not everywhere in Australia, but Adelaide is the best place to live, man. If you're, a, if you're into fitness, Adelaide, psh, it's insane. And Tasha's like, Harley, take me for a hike today. I'm like, do you want to go hiking? Where do you want to go? Do you want to go mountain bike? Like, the, the, it's just, it's like walking into a pizza shop and go, there's like a hundred different pizzas. Like, what do I get here? What do I get? You know, which, which of the hundred vegan pizzas do I get? So that's the tip, Rowan. Pack your Pinarello, mate. Come down and uh, do some Ks in Adelaide. I did a 235K loop the other day. And as I mentioned before, it's like the roads are so good for training, bro. What are you doing, man? What is Rowan doing in Adelaide? Oh, no, sorry. What is, why isn't Rowan Dennis in Adelaide, man? Imagine that. Rowan Dennis could win the Tour de France. That's how the Tour de France happens. Rowan's in Adelaide. He's training. He's got the GC capabilities. Imagine Rowan Dennis winning the Tour de France this year, if it happens. He could potentially do that. You know? He could potentially win the Tour de France. This, this is what I don't understand. This dude's in Spain, the Wonderkind. And, like, what are you doing, mate? What are you doing in Spain, bro? With all that talent, wasting it, sitting indoors on Zwift. No, it's good if you've got a broken collarbone. Cool. But, bro, Adelaide. It's calling your name, mate. So imagine that. Rowan Dennis comes to Adelaide as a three-month block of training. Sits behind Uncle Chester on the e-bike doing motor pace up Green Hill Road. Just laps up Green Hill Road with Uncle Chester. And, uh, you know what I mean? Then goes back to, to France, France and just smashes a tour to France. So when everyone's back at home training on Zwift or doing little loops in Belgium or whatever, um, which is better than nothing. 
I don't understand. So I think Rowan's a motor who needs a bit more tweaking of controlling the conditions versus letting the conditions control you. And, uh, and that's what I think he's done. And so we can all learn from this situation. One, it's great to be real on social media. And I, I, I tip of the hat for Rowan for being like that, sharing a lot of frustrations, which a lot of people would feel, but they wouldn't have the cojones to post on social media. The thing is, if you're a pro athlete, Olympic athlete, they'd like you to be this little drone with no emotions, no feelings, no opinions. Rowan's breaking that mold. It's going to cause him a little bit of trouble. Can you have a bit of both worlds? Can you be sort of okay with the sponsors and okay with the being being real? I think you can. Really, I think you can do a bit of a balance there. It's a very fine line, though. It's a razor's edge fine line between being real and keeping the sponsors and the Olympic selection team stiff necks happy. It's a very very fine line. I think I've got that fine line dialed in uh, quite well to to advise people on a Miyagi esque uh, front. So that'd be my tip there. Um, come to Adelaide, man. I think, you know, if, you, if if Rowan was training and off the caffeine, he wouldn't be having these thoughts, man. He'd be like, oh, shit, you know, this is, where do I go today? Do I go north? Do I go south Adelaide? Do I go west Adelaide? Do I go to the beach? Do I go to the lofty? Do I go to Murray Bridge? Do I, what hill do I do? There's so much. I'm repeating myself, man. Just come to Adelaide, bro. Come to Adelaide. This, you know, it's, it's, I don't understand. I did not understand. I don't understand. We've got an Adelaide rider, Chris Harper. Maybe Chris Harper could win the Tour de France this year. Imagine that. Look, another local boy, Adelaide riding for Jumbo. Jumbo, the Dutch team. You know, well, imagine that. Imagine that if Chris Harper's trained the house down. He gets selected for the Tour de France if it happens. And he's up there in the GC because he's had the Adelaide effect. Anything's possible, man. Anything's possible. I'll put my money on Harper. Not if he takes any more of my Strava Kalins, though. All the bets are off. But, you know, it's like... I don't know. No, I do know. Adelaide's going to be a better place for any pro cyclist right now. If you have an Aussie passport, I'll be coming back home. Back to Green Hill Road. Back on Strava. Light it up. Start your, fire up your Instagram account. Don't worry about the trolls. Put them on restrict. And uh, it's all good to go. See you on the road. What do you think Rowan should do? Listen down below. Maybe we'll get him on the podcast. We had Victor Kampenatz. If you didn't see, hear Victor Kampenatz, who was also... The current hour record, we had Victor on recently. Victor's living in Belgium. Uh, Belgium has a little more lax rules with the COVID stuff, which I don't understand, which I do agree with. But it's like the rules are really different for one country. And then you've got Adelaide, Australia, where we're just trading the house down. It's like, well, we've got... It's like the, 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 the contradictory, hypocritical rules are cracking a lot of, a lot of us people out there who see things with an objective truth versus just follow a social narrative. So I think Rowan's coming of age and he's finding it hard to follow the social narrative. And he's like, F this, man. I'm going with objective truth. Why am I sitting inside? Why can't I go and train? You know? Come to Adelaide. Then you have to worry about, worry about the uh, the deal backs. Actually, if you go to Devon Park, you might. 